In First Amendment attire. The lady back there, she got so scared, oh so scared. I needed recovery just from her screen. I start to just walk into this store, this wonderful Syrian market. They love me here. They cash my checks. Chase Bank that I was with you for what? 25 years. You didn't care. You just cared about your Albert and your machines. Alright, uh, taking uh, for Slap City. I'm taking orders. This is the Green Party. I know it's hot, guys. So choose wisely, but these are the. Uh, these are all the bottles. Tell me what you want. Tell me what you want. Or do you want something colder? That's what I was thinking, boys. And girls, and the them and the ladies. You guys know, we'll bring you anything. We're at the Santa Barbara Care Center. We care. Why? Because no one, no one else does. Don't mind if I don't. Do I have to go through that to get to you, Slaps? Let me know. Yeah. Palestinians. That's what the door is. That's where the camera is. That's where the. Okay? Now, Slavanians. You'll be. You'll be getting a supply of. Well, some of these you ordered. You, put, you ordered. You know, the ganja. I have to say ganja to keep this something too. Yeah, we're destroying that color. Okay, we're still selling the product. It doesn't really matter. Ooh. What do you guys think? Um, the red one. Red? But it's back there. You want, you want, do you want the, the blue one? You want the Jägermeister, no? right? You want something back there. Like How much? Hi. Hi. How much? Hey, you want the Jägermeister? Yeah, we'll take it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Sorry. You get them for cheaper? Okay. Thank you. Sorry. Hi. Busy day. It's it's tough, right? Yeah. I know. I and and me, like some some people, you know, just some nice people from the neighborhood. I was just walking and the and the and the lady goes, she goes, make sure the car's locked. To me. Oh, are they still there? Oh, man. Tweaker action. We got them here, too. You guys are getting us in trouble. You're getting the nomads in trouble, dudes. 120 bucks? Oh, you couldn't help me now, sir. Oh, it's okay. Just go, go ahead. I got I to gotta be busy. Song, huh? Yeah, it's a classic. Do you know the Marilyn Manson version? Um, I think. No, no, no. You wouldn't have said it that way. Yeah, you never heard it. If you heard it, you gotta hear it. The Marilyn Manson's version of this, it's so awesome. You know, with his voice, it's just all sweet dreams. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's haunting. Oh, yeah, that's why I said. Oh, he, he haunts creepy. me at night, that Marilyn Manson. Oh yeah, he's creepy, alright. Yeah. But I'm his manager, so I have to just accept it. Hey, do you accept Cartago? It's our latest. What do you think? Looks real. Remember, don't give out your ID. Oh, 
Yeah. You see three? Yeah. Four, five, ten, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one hundred. Thank you. No. You're awesome. Well, I hope that's the only sighting today, okay? I hope the rest of your day is not going to have any more drama. Yeah. <laughs> it's hot where they are. Yo, Slap Sidians. Did you see the money that you just did not get? I would have given you that money. Don't come around here trying to steal from Santa Barbarians. That is not why I'm uploading on Instagram. You are now going past another guard and do it. We understand the issue. Some of us are even in your shoes. But don't steal from the cool people. Don't steal from the Syrian mafia. Start watching my videos. Learn. It's a how-to. Clean up. Bring your clothes over here. Then steal what? It was like a kid's toy. So you're gonna steal from them, the Syrians, that they stay open when the shell kicks us out of their places because of people like you. That's why I'm getting, that's why I'm getting kicked out of everywhere. Dude, do you know how bad that is? For the nomads. Yikes. How ungrateful, ungracious. Dudes, you're, 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 you're gonna end up anarchy one by one. And you're just gonna be one of you going through a 7-Eleven like I saw up on the 395 off this highway. Just tweaking, obviously, tweaking. I have nothing about, against any drug. But you must be able to maintain. You can't make it so obvious. So, cause, since you're the dictator and I trust you and you're the good one and you're always smiling, I am showing you things, allowing you to decide should I bring these particular bottles. They should be certain things that won't like they can't have pasties we can't be bringing pasties up there because pasties just pushes the issue whiskey i don't think it's a good idea if you if you have a bad reaction it's just more violence but there's other things you know beer can hurt and as long as it's cold and things like that certain wines for the connoisseurs who just would like to have it with their meals and get drunk that way. That's the right way to do it. Make the heat work for you. Yeah. All right, I know you can't drink a lot. That's why Cause is gonna be making the decisions. I know you need more marijuana. I just feel, that's my, that works for me and I figure it should work for everyone. And the water and some toys. But if you steal, any from, from that Ford 2018 that I'm coming down to destroy for the third time so that I can get the Lemon Law. And it is so up the butt right now of Ford. They are tracking that. It's got stuff inside it. I'm gonna show you all its tracking devices. If you even get toward one of the doors when I'm down there in Slap City, it will not do the honking. It will electrocute you on sight. It won't kill you. I got it set up like that. If you touch anything inside, you steal something without putting the money or helping out somebody in Slab City who might need that money. Putting the donation there. You can take from me, from this magical card that's gonna be in there. But if you fuck up my experience, like I said, there are people with mental illness. You might have a mental illness. Go do something about it. Don't make it worse. You're going to end up in a worse place just because of a stupid toy. And not understand when every place you walk in, it's not going to be America. They're not going to treat you the same way. Did you see his face? 
Yo, oh no, well, your boyfriend, he, he like walked away, I believe. That too. Why don't you guys gang up together and, and, and come, slab Sidians, and, and, and show the slab, slab barbaric ends. It's a mix between the homes of the newlyweds and the nearly deads, Santa Barbara, California. It's got the thumbs up from Rob Lowe and Christopher Lloyd. So, yeah, if you need one more, Ofra. Now shut up, troll. I'm sorry, but to the, to the good, to the good trolls, to the nice ones, because you tell them things, things are gonna be okay. Things are gonna be okay if the, um, if the gremlins aren't fed the wrong thing, that's all. And we don't keep them up too late. Are you understanding? Everything is done possibly in moderation, but tweakers, is that the one thing that I should really look out for that drug? Cause shit, I wanted to try it. All my, uh, all my subscribers, they've been commenting that I'm on it, but I haven't stolen anything in the last two years that and I've recorded everything. Oh yeah, I have been saying that I steal from the shell. That's true. Well, I, I, it's just because they put a picture in the back showing my face saying I could never come back. And then the guy lied to me and said, it never happened. It's not like it's like that. You could always come back. And uh, so I keep coming back, but they keep throwing me out. And now I found a way to just, they don't see me and I just take bottles of water. So I'm collecting the bottles of water, yeah. I'm saying it's Jeremy. Jeremy, you have your phone number in one of my videos on the YouTube. It would destroy you, right? It's okay, YouTube took it down. Deem that inappropriate, so you're safe. All right, you companies work together, huh? Yeah, even my own daughter told me, yeah, no. It's nice that they're, you must have done something really, really bad, yeah. I did a eulogy. I pointed out a troll. I gave out his name on the internet. Let's make Holocaust great again. And YouTube didn't take any of my reports. They have this thing where you can push a button. So I'm reporting just, I went to the highest court. I just said, child molestation, child molestation, child molestation. Not even harassment and bullying, not the copyright infringing, not what was actually happening, just that. And everything went, we will now check into it. And then a vlogger dies who, who's getting trolled. It might not be that troll, but I bet that troll is connected in some way. They all are connected at one point in some sort of channel on your YouTube. And you don't do the protection and you take down, well, I'm still, there's no way to get in contact with you. We've been doing so much information. Everyone's been looking now. You've got all these community things. You hope that it is, you know, there's a question and then you want us to write it in a hundred characters or less. The, the question, I was just able to do it. I got it a hundred characters. I've already done a video where I explained you can't, Anyways, I was able to put that in there. I wrote, how do we get back videos that have been reported uh, falsely, right? Reported, you know, falsely because of the automation um, videos uh, that were deemed inappropriate. And, and I phrased them, you know, in this hundred, I had to take out, <laughs> like I had to misspell a word so that I was able to fit that. Isn't that weird? How do we get back videos that were, what was it, that they were removed? I was doing it in their wording. That were removed as inappropriate, but the automation made a mistake. And I couldn't even do the stake. I had to go to error, made an error. And then it wouldn't, I was like, but I can't make that question mark now. So now I'm looking all over, you know, where can I do something? I forgot where I did it. I took off an apostrophe or something. 
And but it's that's their system. There was no answer. It's not being sent to anyone. It was that they were hoping that it'll be answered in the tutorial. Yeah, it's not. If you take down somebody's art, you got to feel it. Like, I know this feeling, not because it was my art, is because I, in a breakup, got really pissed, and I took some of my, uh, my ex's uh, paintings, her art, and I just went out, threw it in this trash, got in the trash bin, just like banging it up, you know, really pissed off, halfway out of my mind, probably a, a complete, you know, bottle of vodka, just, I don't know what pills, it's, it's the whole thing. I did not have, I was not on my meds, I had no marijuana. That has always been the thing. If I just had that marijuana, I wouldn't have gone to that place, but it doesn't matter now, it's happened. And that isn't part of the story. That's, that's my regrets. But I was able to feel what she felt automatically afterwards because when I called her, maybe it would be, you know, it was like an hour later or two hours later, right? And she's going, oh my God, how did you, do you remember, you were, you were shadow boxing on my way out, you took my paintings. I had to send someone to come over and get them. I'm looking at one of them right now. There's your footprint on it. Oh, it's so adolescent. Do you know what it feels like? What you've done, that's not your art. You cannot do what you want with the art. You cannot take it. You cannot burn it. You can, right? Like what I'm telling YouTube. They cannot take it and say, I think it's inappropriate now because I don't like you. I learned. Why can't you learn? Because you're not calling me. Call me. 1-805-964-2171. They're in other videos here on Instagram. You have banned me. There's no reason. You have put three strikes. You can't do that. You can't put three strikes in a row. You got to put one and then say you, you removed it. I'm fine with that. But you didn't even do that. No, here, you must give me back my video. I know you're going to tell me you can't do it. That's your fault that you took my stuff and did not take down the Holocaust man. Once again, people, please spam this YouTube. It says this guy's icon thingy, whatever. His channel is Let's Make the Holocaust Great Again. No, we're going to take you down, sir. They are going to be taking you down and they're going to be giving me back my video that has nothing inappropriate. Nothing. There is not one rule broken. So you must give it back if you don't like it on your garden that we point out a troll by the name of Proud Fat Auditor. Proud Fat Auditor and this other cop. It's a cop showing his body cam footage of, you go look at what it is. All I know is that it's not the description box and his description, his title. Somehow you guys think that that's okay, that he's clickbaiting something that can be misunderstood by someone with maybe a mental illness or just a kid. And that if they look at this thing that is already hideous, it's they're laughing at a Holocaust victim. And it's the same with the body cam footage. They're just showing some guy writhing on the ground in some clinic. They're not supposed to be filming their 5150 drop-offs. YouTube. Learn some law. Yeah, have a lawyer send me the cease and desist to the address I gave you in the one movie that followed this one. You see, you don't even have them in the right order because your algorithm is sending them to the wrong people. Just call me. I'll tell you how to fix it. But right now, we're, this is afternoon, day five on the assault. You're taking too long. You can't keep me banned when you have proven that you're wrong and you said it was an automation thing. I want that automate to apologize and hand over my film. It's going to happen. It's going to happen.
doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter what laws you think. Nobody's going to take away my art. I do know what it feels like. You don't. My daughter doesn't. Joe Kaiser, you obviously don't know what it feels like to have one of those just taken away from you. And, and then you're not going to get it back. But there, every time you get to your site, you see this X removed for inappropriate. What the hell? That's what I think every time I see it. So it, 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 it messed my mind. It triggered me to always go to my site that was never doing anything wrong and to see that. And they shouldn't even be putting like a... It's like they left me there to be a criminal. It's like being tagged for a sex offender because you peed close to a, 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 a school that way back maybe a hundred years ago that school was there but they're just messing with you to make some money. Then you get thrown in the system because you can't pay for the money that they're taking for you. So now you gotta go through their shit. Now you do start to really mess with your mind when you're behind bars. Yeah, you gotta go into survival mode. You're, I mean, you're messing in so many ways. And all you can do, Santa Barbara Police Department, is look at somebody with a mental illness and go, is there any gang members? Ugh that you don't want to be put in the same cell with. I know, I saw on this paper here, I think it looks like you didn't do anything, but we need to call this certain person and they're sleeping right now. And I can't just do this because the computer, oh, that's the computer's gonna fuck shit up. I heard a lot of that during the experiment. WTF is happening here. Shh. Now it's time to talk. Come on, everybody. It's time to talk about this. If you have picked up a phone, wanted to call somebody, and you got a machine, and you found yourself going through prompts, if you've had this experiment, go tell them now. Find out. Just remember a bad person. Doesn't matter if it's at McDonald's, like I'm saying, it doesn't matter if it was at the Shell, it doesn't matter if you had the right, just anyone who was impolite. And they can train this algorithm to now pick up these trolls because they mess up their spellings and stuff, even in their names, like this Holocaust thing. Do you understand? Even in their own descriptions. It, I mean, a kid would think that's how it's spelled. Maybe that's part of their trip. But these different places, if it's so easy to tell the algorithm now, annihilate any misspellings, the punctuations, you just go directly to that. There's going to be so many. All the FUs drop dead. It'll just be like, wait, if you're going to do just the F and the U, you got to put a period, so that's one strike. Now the U, another period, that's another strike. See, we're being nice to you. But you didn't put the period at the end of the drop dead. You're gone. <sighs> Your whole channel, anyone, anything connected. How many channels did you have on this YouTube? Woo! Now is Instagram there? Do you have any um, relatives who are connected now to Facebook? Be it's all gone for them. Go to their house troll to your grand grandpa, your some cousin somewhere, and explain why they can never. They are banned from online social use at all. The Twitch, they can't Discord, they can't write anything. TikTok, yeah, it'll be the only place left for you. That way we can tell where you are. You see? That's how the algorithm could work. And I, believe you me, it would make everybody just rethink their comment. Just, if you have enough time to finally punctuize your, your insults, your criticism, telling the person who's vlogging how they, you would do a better life or what you think they should do, like take a shower. Did you notice the, the protagonist, the minute you commented that, stop taking a shower and it's been two years? How was I doing all those lift rides? How was I doing everything? Nobody told me that I stunk. Nobody told those tweakers that they stunk. So 
It doesn't work what you're saying. And if you tell me math when I'm telling you, acid doesn't do that. Taking glue in the ear, it just doesn't do that. Try it first before you're like snorting your mama's crystal. All right, I know. I'm just doing that to be a punk. You know me, I just talk about drugs. I make fun of everybody. I'm in this experiment, it's about to end. I'm still waiting for you to put the dollar in the cash app of Misha Bodnar, M-I-S-H-A-B-O-D-N-E-R, for my lawyers. Uh, we are suing YouTube right now for just the misappropriation of some inappropriate stuff that they're going to personally sit in the car with me here. Yeah. And they're going to tell you just what they found wrong and everyone's gonna watch it live stream so i hope you'll be there yeah it's all gonna be live streamed probably in Bodhi, maybe in slabs i think slabs that's where i'll get my first tattoo yeah virgin skin it has to be the right person and the dreads has to be the right person dude i can't deal with any head lice damn with two kids man each time Maybe six infestations. The infestations only stopped when I said, you are no longer going to school. It's not safe there, right? It's Who's doing the cleaning? I don't know, Dad. They keep telling me to, we should wash our hands. It's not going to save you from a, a lice that's flying that has the COVID that's going to bite you right there in that certain spot, right on that mole you have. Set all these other minions out there like it's like it's the Verizon 411 where you still aren't contacting me. Superior above the superior. A number who's going down today? A number 390703 and 21703. I know I said it twice already, that one. Yeah, you're going down. Bitch. Try to figure out who it is. It's the only them in your particular city where you are working on that particular network. You see, we can track you down. You must start playing the game, minions. Upload these videos, share them 10 times each. You know how to do it, 411. I'm saving your lives. We'll dox you one by one. I know you're going to say we can't do it, but we've proven that we're just going to do it until they give us back that video. So it's up to you now, all you minions and minions that I have your VIN numbers, and it doesn't really matter. I gave you mine a bunch. Right there in this past thing, I believe that you've got the license plates of my rental. It used to belong to Marilyn Manson. I'm Marilyn Manson's manager. They didn't understand. I get pulled over live YouTube for some other thing now that they're blaming me that had to do with something that was in the glove box, right? I'm telling them, dude, if I don't bring Kitty's food, that's Kitty's food, you understand? He's having a little party, there's dogs and cats just doing it, you know, doing the joke, doing the Bill Murray. The cops not having it. The cops don't have that kind of sense of humor, even though they have a new way of doing their job. The last time I'd been with them, I'd been pre-COVID. Well, they couldn't tell what to do with these computers. These new computers in their car that they used to like, I don't know, they had paper or something. They, did, they just didn't want to. They didn't like that part of the job. They didn't want to learn how to use that computer. They were just going to make it like, let's figure out a way where we'll just get away with most. But now they've done it like Lyft and stuff where they, they put a psychiatrist in their phones and now they're just all like, it's a game. It's like, did you put the handcuffs on the suspect? Yes, doop, doop, doop. They're all having fun. Beep, beep, beep. They're all putting, you know, filling out all the paperwork. It's a riot. It's really smart that you guys did it that way because they were never going to learn how to play the game. But they didn't have the thing with, what do we do when they are choking from our masks that it's not really a breathable mask? 
why don't they have the same masks that we have? You know? Yeah, that's another question, Santa Barbara Police Department, who still, after I've been asking for six years, do not have body caps. Really? And when someone said, what do you got to hide? You took a long time. You were like, hmm. Nothing. Nothing really. I mean, you don't need it. It's obvious. Do you, did you see her face, sir? Do you know you were a teacher? A cook? You called yourself a cook. You said breaking bread. That was the name of your class. City College, Santa Barbara City College. Do you know what the, do you know what the Dalai Lama said in this interview about you? That's right. You're going to have to uh, read, officer. Officer Hove. I'm not going to give out your number. Because if I just said your number, your badge number, it would be like me talking to someone on 411 information. May I help you? May I help you? Yeah, I don't want, I don't think you were a teacher after that, right? They spam bait you. And that's what we're going to do to you two. I'm hoping. If nobody joins me here, people, if you don't delete your channel, if you don't follow the Green Party, it's never going to work. It's really what my mama said. And so we might as well just get out of America because it, it isn't going to work. If you didn't notice that it wasn't working due to the COVID, it's, it, it's just going to get worse because nobody's changing. So I ain't going to change. I don't feel like changing. I'm going to wear this. I'm going to walk by some people here. They're all going to be like, oh, my God, what is this? The First Amendment audit. They're going to go lock the car. So they lock the car. They feel all safe. They're walking away. Yeah, he was probably a homeless bum. He's probably going to get by our car. We put that thing where it's going to be the horn's going to... Right? If he tries to get too close. Well, I got there super close. It did the dun 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 And I filmed it along with your van that nobody thinks is very important, so I uploaded it. YouTube deemed it inappropriate. Yeah, my daughter said, yeah, see, we gotta be safe. They gotta be safe. The people harassing me, daughter of mine, no, please, take my side. Do what I've been asking everyone. Can you just, you know, take my side for one thing, even if you disagree to the max, can you be a good friend? I'm asking everyone. For two years, no one could do it. I said, just this one day, to everyone around me, every person I met, if they knew me or not, can you just let me have my birthday? They couldn't do it. They couldn't give me the one thing. They had to say stuff. They had to comment and say, well, you know, I'd like to, but... And then they talked to me about something else, and they proved their point about other things. And I'm going, you know, it's my birthday. Could you do... And they couldn't do it. So I turned it into an experiment, and I wanted to see how long would you do it? Would you do it one birthday? Would you do it... Well, yeah, two Thanksgivings, right? It's two years. So two Thanksgivings, two Christmases, two birthdays. I don't know. Days of Sabbath. You saw. You saw the day of Sabbath got messed up. And if it happens in Beverly Hills, it's happening everywhere. And that's the wrong trolls. We will videotape all your vins. You're not going to get away with it. You're not going to let the people think that we can't film you doing something illegal. That tweaker knows. Remember? I, she saw right away when I was talking to my phone and doing a vlog and I pointed it toward her and was like, hey. She was like, oh, maybe let me take a walk. Then when she came back, I tried talking differently, like I'm just hanging out here, right? I went covertly, and it was, it's the same thing, it, except the person's acting natural. And they had, I mean, she wasn't hiding anything. We don't know what she was planning. It was the Syrian who thought she was trying to steal. We know these particular tweakers. They have a certain routine. I think that's what's going on right now. And slabs, I think that there's some bad tweakers. I'm not pointing the word at any tweakers. There's a way of doing anything correctly without being mean. And you're not going to get from this particular thing what I'm talking about. But it's just on any level. If you steal from your brothers, 
your community. That brings upon distrust. And Slab City, that's the opposite of why it was there. Dude, go to that mountain. Just any of you tweakers, when you totally can't sleep, you want to tweak and fix some of the pain. Help. But you probably wouldn't, right? You just fuck it all up. So then you got to tweak less or something. That's all. But if you just insist like you're right, I mean, it just looks like you guys are just going to walk around doing that. I am not going to allow you to steal from me, but no, from anyone. Starts with you, subscribers. Take down those trolls. Take down that the Holocaust to do, make the Holocaust great again and take down the proud fat auditor, the fat auditor, auditor be proud. I don't know. You will know when you see it. You'll be like, that's inappropriate. And, and, and do the thing. Report them. Report them. Report them. It, they're not going to do anything about it. When the time comes when I try to get my film and they finally say, well, we, you know, we lost it. It's in the heavens. Then I'll be able to say, well... What about, why didn't you answer all these reports? And they'll be like, well, something. You know what I mean? There'll be something with my account that they were able to troll you. Whatever the thing is. But not you guys. And so they won't be able to take, they, the, the algorithm's not going to think about looking for you guys. So the more of you who have reported it, there will be a trail. And suddenly, it'll just show YouTube at court with all these reports on all these really cool channels, so the algorithm's gonna be thumbs upping you guys to catch a predator you have. And uh, they won't have anything to say. They won't be able to say anything. They'll wanna do it out of court, but that's up to my subscribers. If they all put in a dollar, it might be worth filming all this covertly. Right? You guys are going to see another thing. I'm going to be telling the judge right now. I will have my camera. It will be under here. If you take it away from me, I will have, you know, in places where during the search, they're not going to find the tape recorder. I will give you subscribers the thing that they tell us not to do that's not going to happen. No, if you did it with OJ and the results were bad... Let's get it right this time. Don't put it all on your Hollywood. Don't, 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 don't have the policeman walk up toward the First Amendment auditor and go, oh, wait, wait, excuse me, let me put on some makeup. And then they come back and they're like doing the thing. That was the OJ trial. Police department. Yeah. All right, check it out. We were empty. Somebody put something in the cash app. I want to thank you, subscriber. I have to do this. I have to like yell and go, why aren't you guys listening? And all of a sudden, deep, deep, I have half a tank of gas. I got the air conditioning on. It is June. No, it's June gloom, but in May, it's made me so depressed. I'm just making depressing videos. It's kind of interesting though. I think the sun, oh no, I got the sunglasses. I was about to say, man, the sun is trying to get through that. But no, if you look at it, oh my God, it's just, when I put this into black and white, no, maybe I won't. Yeah, for you slab, slabanians, the good ones. Slabsinians, you will please start to behave yourself. Otherwise, like YouTube and iPhone and Shell and McDonald's and the CVS. Oh God, who else is in there? And that Nancy who just told me she didn't like me photographing that she had a false handicap placard. And she wasn't handicapped. And she said all these things, she was lying like it was for someone else. And I was saying, yeah, that's fine, but they should be in the car with you, right? It was one of those things and I'm filming it and it's obvious. And I'm taking her license, right? And it's obvious and I'm taking her van. She tries to run me over. I yell at the, at the guy who, at the McDonald's, who's known me for 20 years. All of these places have known me for 20 years. That's another thing in the experiment. Um, he's, 
he's he's trying to stand on on the sidewalk of the McDonald's so he doesn't get hit. No. So if he put himself onto the where we're driving the car, it's suddenly public. So he was saving his ass so I could, if I beat the shit out of him, it was going to happen in there. <sniffs> Private action. It's just like right there. So he didn't know what to do. He just sat down on the curb going, sir, what did he call me? Long-term, a uh, long-term customer. Oh my God. He, all those happy meals with my daughter and he kept asking, oh, you got a guinea pig? What's the guinea pig's name? What's her name, right? About the daughter. And they don't remember 20 years later. You're just... Beep, beep, beep. Okay, wait, whoa. I, I'm where in the chain? Oh, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the assistant manager. No, I got that. I'm the manager. Oh my God, I'm like part owner, long-term customer. I can't decide. I mean, I got to go with the Nancy, the Karen, who's, who's cursing everyone around her, telling, will you help me with this guy? Because he's standing in front of my car. He's photographing. He's saying, no, go ahead, hit me. She was the one doing the thing wrong. And everyone's going to be taking her side, just saying, nah, you shouldn't be doing that kind of thing. Why are you making a scene? It's weird. Yeah, I don't get it. So once again, I'm, I'm really happy to be leaving America. But I will visit, you know, the last free place. Got to at least give it a chance, you know. But yeah, the YouTube isn't making it look good. It's not making it look good. Pause. We gotta change that algorithm. Have them just delete those channels. Only the good ones, only the positive ones. You can demand that from YouTube. Demand that anything that has to do with Slap City must be this positive thing or news. But none of these where it's gonna scare people off, those things. And I think if you get rid of those, you'll probably get rid of the, uh, the infractions. I don't know. The moles. I think there's a mole, like there's a mole here in the organization. Yeah. Santa Barbara Care Center. From Santa Barbara, home of the newlyweds and nearly deads. We care. We care. Why? Because no one else 